Well, the uh, next question is uh, from Bob online. Uh, he wants to know, uh, let's see, of, uh, where is it? What is the uh, status of Prodigio? Status of Prodigio. So Bob is asking, um, Prodigio is, we released that also in December. Um, we w launched it in live trading uh, to a very, very small number of, of folks. We had it had a few hiccups. It will work on um, uh, paper money, though. We strongly encourage folks to use paper money. One of the problems we had with it was working on Macs, of all things. Um, you need, if anybody's on Macs, you'll need, um, what's the last one, Snow Leopard, I believe. You need Java 1.6 to run it. Uh, we we're having some Java issues with it, things like that. Um, Prodigio, for folks who aren't, aren't familiar with it, it is a product that um, we've worked with this company, Empower, for years and years and stuff, very close to them. But they built Prodigio as a robotic trading engine. It has a lot of neat scanning features in it. It has a drag and drop uh, st uh, custom study creation, so you don't have to know programming. You just drag, so you know, buy when simple moving average is greater than. These are all controls that you drag and drop. Um, you can email support, I think it's support at prodigio.com, I believe, to support email and see if they can permission your paper money account to see Prodigio. Um, that is the best way to start playing around with it without, um, without pressing the wrong button and, and you know, shorting a basket of stocks. Because once you create your custom studies and do your scans, you can then back test it on Prodigio. You can say, well, if I, you know, if I bought every single stock in the S&P 500 every time the 10-day moving average crossed the 30-day moving average, and I shorted them every time it went below, how much money would I have made over the past two and a half years? You can do that in Prodigio. You can then create a robotic trading engine that scans for stocks that meet that criteria, and then routes orders based on that automatically. Um, so. You, you know, there's a certain, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I don't know. You know, you, you've got to understand, you've got to get your helmet on. Uh, this is not something, if you're, if you're still kind of nervous about clicking the buttons on Think or Swim, you have to be doubly cautious on Prodigio. Um, because you can end up just buying a pile of stocks if you, you know, you, you click the wrong button. Um, it's designed more for a little bit more advanced traders. Uh, folks who are comfortable with technology and who are looking really for a very, very advanced um, robotic trading system. Um, and we're still still kind of in the, the learning phase with it right now. Uh, it's an exciting product, and uh, like I said, we can probably get that on your paper money for you to kick around a little bit risk-free. And it's free, by the way. All this stuff is free. No charge. Nothing. Zip. It's free. Here, have a question. Okay, I've got one more online. Well, I've got several more, but uh, we'll just uh, go until you're ready. To okay, work. pick pick the best couple. Pick the best couple. Okay, uh, question on features to come. Is there a, is there a way to set up specific entry and exit rules and then be able yes. to automatically back test those set of rules? In essence, I'm wondering if there is a way to automate some of the back testing and have cost give the statistics. Uh, short answer, no. The reason is that while Prodigio can do backtesting the way you describe there, Prodigio is not ready for futures yet. Okay, so when Prodigio is permissioned and, and 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 is able to trade futures, you'll be able to do exactly that stuff by doing automatic backtesting things like that. Um, this is kind of off the mark. Uh, All right, good trade futures during the day and pre-market like to get the uh, DAX feed? Is oh, for DAX? Yes. Yeah, we don't have that in our um, uh, with our data feed vendor. We have a lot of requests for that, but it's a balance of the cost that we would pay to the versus, you know, how much business would we generate uh, for folks who want to trade it or see it and stuff like that. And I don't know if S&P Comstock, who's our data vendor, I don't even know if they collect it reliably. So we hear you. Uh, we want to try and um, get um, a 
a more integrated, let's put it that way, uh, quote feed into our system that takes the best pieces of different vendors and sort of merges them into our own sort of proprietary one. That's in the works. Um, and the DAX, DAX data feed, as well as things like, you know, the TSX, the Toronto, things like that, um, should presumably be in there. But that is a, uh, that's something we know we want to add and is, is on the to-do list. Will Prodigio work if you're offline? No. Nope. you gotta, you got to have it all. Uh, it pulls the, most of the valuable features on Prodigio need data and all that data is stored on the servers. So it's not saved anywhere on your on your computer, in which case it's, it's not canned, in other words. Um, so you can't run it on the airplane. Although with Southwest going to have, uh, I hear they're going to have internet in the next few months, <laughs> have a whole plane full of people playing on Prodigio. <laughs> Room here, have a question. Go ahead. Yeah, Toss was here about two or three weeks ago. They showed something like a back testing on Toss platform. You, I, they were kind of going back and generating a report on, I don't know, a simple moving average crossover or something like that. Yeah, that was well. That was probably uh, strategies. Um, if I go to charts, if you if you're doing this, I can do. Buh, 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 buh. Let's do um, strategies. Um, I'll just let me just add this really quickly in here. Bollinger bands, short entry, long entry, apply. Um, so here it's showing me these signals for think strategies. And if I right click, right click, there we go, and hit show report. Is this what you're talking about? This thing right here. I don't know if you, if you can see this window that opened up, the strategy report. Not sure if that's what you saw, but that is the uh, when I hear you know report of back testing report that's creating strategies on our charts page. Okay. Thank you. Buy and sell, and so now the question, the, the follow up question to that is, can I route trades on that? Well, not yet. Um, the reason we brought Prodigio in was to take a shortcut and give you, you can do the same thing on Prodigio. It can test you know, moving average crossover, Bollinger Band, that sort of thing, and see performance reports just like this. The difference is that Prodigio was ready to route trades based on that. Thinkorswim was not. We will eventually, if it, it's like we do everything, <laughs> eventually, you know, Thinkorswim is this giant, voracious monster. Eventually, we will take all the best pieces, probably a Prodigio, and work them directly into the, the Thinkorswim platform. Uh, but we just didn't have time. You know, we just uh, the 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 schedule for delivery. The faster we can get stuff built, the better. Um, the faster we can deliver products to you for free, the better. Prodigio was the was the faster, cheaper way of doing that for us, and it's good. So. The difference, the reason, so you can already, you, you, you could have done these strategy reports on Thinkorswim for about two and a half years now, but you couldn't route trades on them. And that's where people got stuck with it. They wanted to be up, you, you, everybody wanted to route trades from the, based on their strategies. It would have taken us a certain amount of time and development effort to do that. Prodigio was a faster way to deliver it to you. But eventually, probably not in 2010, but maybe 2011, you'll start to see the automatic order routing generated from the TOS charts. So again, I'm not sure if that's what, what you saw when my compatriots were up there, but... Um, yeah, that was, yeah it. that was it. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent.